<laughs> Good stuff. All right, let's show you what's going on. We get down to Rudeau, so you guys look at the sky here. When we start this off. This was six hours ago, and what you can see is as we work throughout the afternoon, the clouds start to thicken over Sierra Blanca, and we start to see the chance of snow coming back into Rudeau. So for tonight, so we are going to get that shot at one to three inches of snow, and we'll explain why that is coming up. But the other big story, obviously, very cold temperatures out there, 35 in the metro right now, and really that's pretty much where we've been all afternoon in the mid 30s. It's about 15 degrees lower than we were yesterday at this time. So we've cooled down significantly as well. But when you compare it to what's going on up around Raton, 15 degrees, 17 degrees in Clayton, 22 to can carry. And Las Vegas has been stuck at 10 degrees most of the afternoon here. Very cold stuff continues across eastern New Mexico. These temperatures are going to start to back off, especially across the northeast for tomorrow. We are going to warm up, but we've got to get through a pretty cold night for tonight. And even across south central sections, Las Cruces, Alamo Grotto, both cold at this hour. Looking at satellite and radar, plenty of cloud cover out there for us, which actually is not a bad thing right now. It's helping us to not be quite even as cold or even colder than we could be if we lost all that heat out of the atmosphere. And essentially what we're going to get for tonight is that possibility of a little bit of snow. Now what we've got here is the jet stream that's going to be running across southern New Mexico. And a good example of this is right over the Sacramento's where we also have a little weather disturbance as well sitting there. Well, what these two tend to do is do a pretty good job at drawing moisture up from the surface. And as you draw that moisture up in the surface, you then start to wring out snow showers across the mountains and the possibility of one to three inches of snow will be there for us across the Sacramento's and maybe an inch or two of snow across the Gila as well. So when you combine the jet stream with a weak weather disturbance, you don't even necessarily need a lot of moisture, but we can squeeze out at least a couple inches of snow. Otherwise, the rest of us don't look at much of a chance of snow, but what we do get here is the cold temperatures for tonight as that little weather disturbance kicks across. And then over the next few days, we will rebound temperature-wise. It's going to be cold each morning, no question about that, but Temps are going to slowly start to climb out here and get near normal as we push over the weekend. No major storms on the horizon through the weekend and through the beginning of next week. By the middle of next week, things could start to change for us. So across the northwest here, another cold night for tonight. Eight below Durango, three below in Cortez, eight in Farmington, and then tomorrow temperatures in the low 30s. Meanwhile, seven-day forecast for both Durango and Farmington shake out like this. Temperatures in the low 30s, obviously cold stuff during the overnight hours as well. So we are going to have to contend with that, but still not a bad setup. Across the southwest, a cold morning, no doubt. 21 Silver City tomorrow morning, 19 Kamado, 26 in TRC, and then temperatures tomorrow topping out in the 40s and 50s. Meanwhile, across the southeast, temperatures tomorrow about what they were today. So it's going to be cool once again. A spot snow shower as that little weather disturbance kicks across this part of the state tomorrow morning, but still overall, not too bad, and don't anticipate any accumulating snows, really. And then those temps start to warm back into the 50s Saturday and Sunday. Northeast, this is kind of the best story for us across the state for tomorrow. Today, you guys were in the 20s. Tomorrow, you're going to warm into the 30s, so that's some good news. Northern mountains, overall, pretty quiet over the next 24 hours. A spot snow shower is still possible in those temperatures in the 20s and 30s, but we will be below zero in places like Angel Fire and Red River tonight. Those real high mountain communities are going to have trouble getting too warm during the overnight hours, obviously. Temperatures in the 30s. Tomorrow in Santa Fe and 40s over the weekend with a chance of snow returning into next week. East Mountains temps for the most part going to be single digits around to Harris and around Edgewood about 10, 11 degrees. Same deal in Estancia and tomorrow's highs in the 30s. And then here in the metro area, not bad. Tomorrow morning in the valley, though, 16 degrees. So it's going to be cold, no question. 24 downtown, 22 in the heights. And then tomorrow throughout the day, we will warm up by about 5 or 6 degrees across the metro area. And you know what? I did it again. Oh, I missed the seven day tonight. Yeah. So now I have to review the seven okay. day for you in a okay. verbal fashion. So what we're looking at here is tomorrow highs in the low 40s, mid to high 40s through the weekend, and low 50s possible into next week. All right. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next.